Yeah. And rolling the ball up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And pads of the thumb. And the pinky. And down to the wrist. And up to the knuckles, roll on across the knuckles. <clears throat> and then let's take the ball to the thumb and the index finger and squeeze. And the middle finger and the thumb. Ring finger and pinky and then to the other hand <clears throat> the index middle. Ring. And pinky. And today let's bounce the ball on the ground. Alternating heights and speeds and hands and dribbles and holding and not holding. And directions and whatever else you can throw into the mix to challenge yourself. Three, two, <clears throat> one, put the ball on the ground. Assess the feet. And step on the ball right in the middle of the foot, press down three times. Go up to the knuckles, once on each, going across. <clears throat> Roll across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes, and roll it across the top of the heel. Press down just below the first knuckle at the side of the top of the heel and in the middle of the fifth middle torso. Roll down each bone. And scribble. Three, two, one. Good morning, Jonathan. Reassess. Go to the other foot. Press it down three times. Knuckles. Run it across the knuckles. Right to the top of the heel, roll across that, stick on each of the three spots, and roll down each of the bones. Three, two, one. 
ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree. Center. Twist it away, swing the arms. And center. Let's put the hands in the front of the spine. We're going to shift the weight from one channel to the other, sideways, back and forth. So the hands move up and down in front of the spine. Michael wins energy grounding exercise. Push the energy in, pull it back out. Come up on your toes when you're putting your weight on the other foot. And back on your heels as you come back to that side. Hands expanding. And center. Let's take 16 steps alternating. And then 16, elbow towards the knee. Doesn't have to hit, but if you can do it, great. Just go as far as feels comfortable. Do an eight on each side. Six, or up to eight. Seven, eight. And now slap the opposite heel. Bring your hand up. And walk, march, or jog. I'm going to do some upper body postural fixes today. No squats involved if you want to do those. You can continue doing exactly what you're doing or anything else to get the heart rate going. Be safe. Whatever you do. We've got some yin yoga in the after class. Let's see what am I going to do today. I haven't met them side checks for a while. I think I'll do some side checks. Gonna get going in five, four, three, two, one. Nineteen twenty. Thirty. I forgot I had a cat there. Two of the deep breaths. Interlace the fingers. Then raise the hands up. Open your toes if you can. Back down. Reach back if you can. 
Back to center and to one side. And then the other. Go back up. Lower the hands to the chest and push out. Come on down. Interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the hands up. Go a little higher. Come on back down. Draw. Put your fingers on your shoulders. Rotate your elbows in a circle forward. And backwards. Extend your arms and tap your shoulders. Give yourself a big bear hug. Inhale, exhale out, and then the other arm goes on top as you do it again. One more time each side. Extend the arms and rotate. And reverse. Bring one arm behind the back, press down and in on the elbow. And then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Extend one arm, fingers up, pull back. Fingers down. Flop the wrists, wiggle the fingers, make a fist. Other hand, fingers up. Down. And flop. Come on down, rotate the neck. And reverse. No up. And go ear to shoulder. Let's grab a stick. Start by bringing it to the arch, putting the weight on the other foot, leaning that way. And stretching the inner thigh. Let's 
Same thing the other way. And come on up. Bring the stick behind one leg. Hinge at the waist. Slide the hands down. Stretching the hamstring. And the other foot. Come on up. Press the first the sole of the first foot against the stick. You stretch the calf muscles. And then the other. Alright, come on up. We're going to do the gym stick routine starting with some dynamic swimmers behind and forward in one direction. And then in the other direction. And bring it up overhead and go side to side. And then behind the back. Twist at the waist. Bring the stick down to just above the knees. Bring your hands in front between your knees. Hinge at the waist and pull up. And then bring the stick around front, hold on with two hands at or near the top, step back, hinge at the waist, stretch the arms and upper body. Come on up, bring the stick across the body with one hand. Bring the other one up underneath the armpit. Hinge at the waist. Step back. Tug on the shoulder. And then do the same thing the other way. And then bring the stick to the side of the foot. Pull out, pull, press out with the top hand, pull in with the bottom. Hinging it away slightly. And then same thing on the other side. Yeah, then we're going to bring one foot out in front, bend at the knee, the, the back leg, you're on the balls of the feet, come down to stretch the hip flexors. And 
and then reverse the position of the feet to get the other side. Line up, grab one leg by the shin, ankle, or toes. You need to hold on to the back of the chair or the counter both hand, with uh, one hand if you need more stability than the stick. And hold. And come down and then grab the other foot. And come down. First foot in front. Push that knee towards the back. Hinge slightly at the waist. Ankle on up, same thing with the other foot. Last one. And come on up. And let's put the stick down. No, let's not. Let's not. Let's hold it in front with two hands, one hand or a finger or two at the top. And we're going to come up on our toes, hold for a second, go back on our heels for a second. Let's do 15. stick down and we're going to do the postural fixes. We're going to start with Brugger's scapular retraction so we want to make an L. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and let's hold a little bit longer than we usually do. And release and squeeze again. And release. Make fists, put the tongue on the roof of the mouth, and press your chin into your fists. And release. And one more time, just strengthening those neck muscles. And release. Now we're going to do some chin tucks like the pigeon packs, but we're going to tuck it in and hold for a little bit longer than usual. And now you can peck and then tuck again. And release and one more time.
then release. Bring your fists to your temples and bring your elbows to the front. We'll do 10 of these. Okay, just a reminder, a posture when it is um, the way it should be, uh, the, near, the ears are over the shoulders, the shoulders are over the hips, hips are over the ankles. Often, uh, you know, over the years, we um, get an upper cross syndrome and our neck is out or, um, you know, our back is back. But these are all um, exercises trying to uh, help us alleviate that posture, which throws everything whole kinetic chain out of balance and makes it a little bit more difficult to um, do everyday functions. So the next thing we're going to do is go to a wall, put our hands in surrender position. If we can, the backs of the feet are against the wall, so are the calves, the glutes, the shoulders, and the head. But if you have to step away from the wall, that's not unusual, so just do so. But try to move your hands up and back 10 times against the wall, sliding up and down. And then bring them down, shake them out. Bring them to about 45 degrees pointing downward and up to shoulder height. Again, as much of your body is against the wall as possible, but definitely your arms and shoulders. Shake it up. So we're going to make an L shape again. We're going to go up in the air, pluck that cherry, and come back into the air with one hand and then the other. Then on each side. And one more on each side, and ten. Take it out. Um, we're going to do an around the clock through the middle. Put everything back, shoulders back. Nine and ten. And then let's stretch one arm over the top of the head to the side and hold. Try to get that bicep right even with the ear if you can. And then go the other way. And come on out. A couple of rest to breaths. This week uh, we're doing the 478 breath, and again, just a reminder that. 
it's an inhale of four, but you want to start in the belly, bring it up into the chest, and feel the sides of your ribs expand as you take that big full breath. Then we're going to hold for seven, exhale for the count of eight, and then immediately inhale again for four, seven, and eight. And we'll do uh, three of those. All right, here we go. And breathe while you rub those hands together. Cultivating chi. And forming a chi ball. Centering with two breaths. And we're opening our hearts. And pause on that inhale, exhale, sending it out. And center, two breaths. We're going to bring down head and chi. And we're going to go down and gather some up. Thank you, Tom. Oh, you're very welcome, Nina. Have a good one. Thank you, too. Thank you. For oh, those of you sticking around, we got some yin yoga. Thank right. you, Tom. You're welcome, Shimon. Take care. You too. All right, thank you. Um, yeah, there's a timer, inside timer, and uh, today's set your life on fire, seek those who fan your flames, said Rumi. All right, and um, timer, all right. Going to meet you in cat position on the floor. Switching.
cameras. The cat is in sitting position on the desk. All right, cat.
pessoal. These the two tracks. Use the chest. Let me ask you any sponges on Root Eater. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Hey, you're welcome, Jonathan. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. That was, I shall. That was excellent. Good. Right. Good. Yep. Yeah.